Fokker Spin is a train aircraft designed in 1911 by Anthony Fokker used to teach him how to learn how to fly. The Spin is a good looking aircraft, a lot of character, and it is ideal proportions for a radar control model airplane. In this video, I'll go through some of the design considerations for the Spin as well as uh, lessons learned on the first test flight. This is a picture of Anthony Fokker in the cockpit of his spin in 1911. You can see the open frame arrangement, uh, the wings, and all the various wire bracings. The fin spin uh, during takeoff, again with a good view of the underside of the landing gear. There have been sev several modern day reproductions of the spin. Again, these give good ideas of the landing gear arrangement, tail skids, and various details that you can use for your model of the spin. This is a three view that I use for my prototype of the spin has a standard top, side, and front view. It's a relatively easy matter to import this image into TurboCAD where you can rotate it and resize it for whatever size you want for your model. I elected to make a 28 inch wingspan of the spin. Once I did that, it's a very easy uh, process to trace over the image with the line tools in TurboCAD to get the outline of your spin or any other model. Notice you do just one half, the mirror command will make the other half. Once you have the outline done of your model, just basic filling it in with some ribs, uh, landing gear. I call this a CAD sketch. It's a very rough outline drawing to build a prototype. Once we get it working, we'll have a more detailed plan. These are the wing ribs being cut out. You can see the two sets with the forward and aft uh, uh, spars. The ribs are just glued right to them. Uh, this is the wing being built over the full-size plans. You see the jig under the aft spar to give the proper elevation to give the correct shape of the wing as you build it. Again, very easy to build. The finished wing is a lightweight structure. You can see the two panels here, uh, the gussets for strength, as well as the carbon rods and the um, uh, spars at the end for strength where it's glued into the fuselage. This is the fuselage frame uh, under construction with a trial fit of the motors, batteries, electronic speed control. I did widen the fuselage just a little bit for this prototype of the spin to accommodate the electronic speed control. This are all the structural components of the spin right here. Uh, the wing uh, left and right at top, the fuselage frame, uh, horizontal tail services, top and bottom rudder uh, with the gussets. I use cover right cover light for covering, uh, top surface only in the wings and um, uh, horizontal tail services to save weight. This is a view of the nose section, the motor's glued into place, the battery right behind it on a velcro mount, electronic speed control. On the final version of the spin, I'll put all these electronics underneath just so uh, you don't see them, but this works fine for the prototype. Detail of the tail section, you can see the uh, good elevator area and the top half of the rudder straight control runs uh, that make for a very good and uh, precise linkage. Top view of the spin to the nose view. Going along to the side, you can see the top and bottom rudder. I was a little bit concerned over no fin, but it worked out fine. Plenty of tail surface area, tape hinges for the elevator, uh, straight control runs from the rudder and elevator to the electronic speed control. Uh, the ESC has the receivers and servos, battery, uh, the motor glued into place, a couple ounces, a little bit of uh, solder for weight purposes. Underside of the wing with the two uh, spars, and you can see the bamboo skewer for the tail skid and the tail arrangement. When you get to the flying area, all you do is turn on the transmitter, uh, just connect the little LiPo battery uh, to the uh, ESC brick. It syncs up. Once the light comes on steady, uh, everything's set to go. Give a quick che check of the controls, uh, elevator, rudder, plenty of control throw for this model. The spin handles very well in the air. Um, it has good control authority, uh, it flies at about half throttle. Just a very comfortable uh, feel uh, as you're uh, flying it. And uh, touch and goes, low altitude, whatever you want. It's just a, a very well flying model. And I look forward to um, building a final version with a lot more detail with the uh, various flying wires, braces, etc. Uh, incidentally, the name spin uh, is the Dutch word for spider. Uh, the plane is just nicknamed the spider due to the profusion of flying and bracing wires, uh, which I think is a good nickname for the airplane. It certainly gives uh, a chance to add your personal amount of detail to your version of the spin. CAD plans are available at the website with the address uh, at the closing credits of this video. Thank you very much.